Hey everyone, Brian from IGN here. We're taking a look at all these planet walkthroughs that EA just released for Star Wars Battlefront. They're kind of cool interactive teasers that show a battle going on but stop at certain points to point out cool things. And we're going to show you the coolest uh, new things and, and you know videos and models and things that you need to see. So here we are on Tatooine, probably the most famous planet uh, in all of Star Wars. Here we see like a... I don't know if it's specifically Jabba's Palace, but it looks a lot like it in the background. We're seeing some kind of explosions here. The one thing I really want to point out is that the team uh, at EA went to Death Valley, California, and they went to Dubai to get uh, a bunch of like samples of you know textures, and they took video and, and, and audio to kind of try to match Tatooine. Of course, Tatooine was originally filmed in Tunisia, but uh, this you know you could have fooled me. This looks like Tatooine to me. Uh, I would I would love to see a, a longer documentary about something like this. Here we just see these cool corners. You can just like you can pretty much see the job is peeking out from behind the rocks there. But enough on that. Let's move on. We're having a little dog fight there. Uh, a tie and an X-wing kind of flying around. Let's see who wins. Do we see? Mm, undecided. Here we go. We see a jaw with sand crawler. Uh, not really moving. Maybe they're just kind of freaking out and keeping their heads down because a lot is going on here. One thing I want to point out, uh, you know, Obi-Wan says, oh, it's only only Imperial troopers are so precise. Yeah, they hit a thing the size of a building. It's not that hard. Come on. Don't give them that much credit. The one thing I want to point out here is the TIE Interceptor. Uh, it's not as iconic as the regular TIE, but I just love this thing's design. It seems a little more uh, a little more practical. It's faster. It's stronger. You don't have these giant walls blocking your vision to the side. There's at least some spots to see here. Uh, a lot of love for the TIE Interceptor. It's just a cool little vehicle. I had a little micro machine of it once, and I thought it was pretty cool. Anyway, we're going to move on. Continue. Continue. There we go. Uh, yeah, so we see the ATSTs uh, kind of doing their work. They're pretty dangerous. They don't. They're the little brothers to the ATATs, but don't count them out. They're super strong in this game. Uh, here we're moving on to a map that I played, I believe, the survival mode on, where you're just facing off against a bunch of Imperials and, and ATSTs eventually. It's pretty tough. We see this guy with a rocket launcher coming around the corner, and. Whoop, okay, we're about to see someone's life end here, which is kind of morbid, but it's fine. Uh, he threw a flash grenade at least. That's that's the last action he took in his life. But yeah, let's uh, let's see if this guy lives through this rocket explosion. Nope, clearly not. Okay, sorry man. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Uh, who doesn't want to die in a fire explosion on a planet with two suns? Here we kind of have a, a bigger look of the Vista, and this droid looks totally confused. Why am I here? What has happened? I made mistakes in my life. But he's fine. He's fine. Don't worry about it. That guy just got sniped too. Uh, here we're getting a look at a bunch of rebels. They're kind of assaulting uh, this position here. Oh, we switched to Leia. Never mind. They totally cut off what I was talking about. Here's one cool thing I want to point out. So we have Princess Leia as one of the playable heroes in this game. And she just sort of dropped a shield. And um, I'm going to show it off. I believe it's in this one right here. Uh, let's move on here. Our friends are counting on us. Friends are counting on us. Here she drops this really cool shield. And I love the sound effect. If you listen closely, I'm going to shut up here once it goes. That, so, that sound is so good. It's the sound from when the Gungans have their shields up and the Trade Federation droids are just kind of pounding them as they're trying to, you know, keep the Gungans out of Naboo. I love that sound. It's a really cool sound effect. I'm glad it kind of made its way back here. Uh, one other thing I want to point out, Boba Fett, obviously, we got to give him some love. Boba Fett, pretty cool guy. If you look at this video of him playing, we've looked at some of the other heroes on the other planets. Uh, heroes and villains, of course. But he has this jetpack, and it's the mobility looks kind of crazy. I mean, we're going to see it a few times here. I'm going to let this one play a little longer than I normally would. Like, there's a, a he gets a ridiculous height advantage. He has a flamethrower. He has this rocket pack. Uh, as this video goes on a little more, he makes this jump that I just... I wouldn't have believed he could have made here, but apparently he has the he has the ups for that. Here we go. He kind of like makes it over this hole and then keeps floating. I don't know. He seems super mobile, much more so than the other uh, like sort of power characters. I'm really excited to play as him. Moving on. Leia versus Boba Fett. Let's see how that goes. No clue. Uh, here we're sort of in like a, a hangar looking area. We see some uh, some rebel troops coming in through the darkness here. It's, it's, this looks like a bad spot. There's not a lot of cover. Uh, and this one's just sort of one of the simpler ones. You know, do you want to check out their weapons? Do you want to see what's going on? This kind of shows off one of the the new modes called Cargo, which is like a weird uh, tug-of-war CTF sort of thing. There's so many, so many different modes in this game. Uh, check them all out. They're all online on IGN as well. Here we're sort of seeing, oh, that glass display. I was literally just going to talk about, like, the one from Echo Base is gone. It's shattered. There are no more tactics ever. Here we kind of are in this little tunnel, and we open up here to what looks like a Tusken Raider camp. Uh, similar to the one where Anakin Skywalker slaughtered the men and the women and the children, too. Uh, I think we have a Bantha in the background there. I'm not sure if, if it's alive or if that's just a skull or what's going on here. The one thing I want to point out here is the Shock Trooper. Uh, he's got kind of some cool paint. he got to upgrade. 
Uh, and they kind of have a heavier blaster than regular troopers, and they can take a lot more damage. So if you see one of them, maybe uh, consider it a bigger threat and focus on taking it out. Like that. Goodbye, sir. He's out. So is that guy. Here we're moving on into a uh, sort of looks almost like the Lars homestead. Uh, never mind, we're gone from there now. <laughs> and here we see the Millennium Falcon, or at least a Krillian Freighter docked uh, in, in one of the bays. I guess they're just kind of showing off the ships and showing different areas you can fight around. But here we're gonna we're gonna see a trooper. He pulls out this rocket launcher and nails. Was that wow, some very very poor soul? Uh, the, the main thing to point out here is you know here we have these troopers and you can see their little guns. Look at this little gun. This is a little baby gun. Little scout pistol. I don't know. You probably want to pack something bigger than that. I don't know. It might be a men in black cricket sort of style thing going on. I'm not gonna judge. Let's move on to the infantry turret. It seems like a pretty standard thing. It's like you need a little extra help fortifying an area, or you can't commit bodies to one area, so you need to hold off a door. Kind of throw one of these things down. It seems cool. It seems cool. We're gonna continue on a little bit, and let's see where it takes us here. Man, this guy, he didn't have the high ground. Doesn't he know that it's over when the enemy has the high ground? We see, like, a city in the background. We'll get a better shot of that later. This is one of my favorite This is one of my favorite things to point out here. Um, aside from this guy here, who is uh, the species Duros. You may have recognized him from the uh, Moss Eisley Cantina from Episode 4. Uh, but here we go. The gonk droid. Gonk, gonk. Like, I love, like, clearly built for function and, and nothing else. There's a, a droid run mode where you have to capture and hold these gonks. It's just it's just my favorite. I hope he just says gonk the entire time. Game like, constantly. And if he's scared and if you're closer to winning or losing, he just starts gonking even more. So much gonk going on. And we're going to continue here, but that is the end of the video. And it shows off that city I was talking about a little bit. We're going to take a look at it. But for now, that is our look at Tatooine. We also have close looks at Hoth and Indoor and Solist. And we, there isn't one for Jakku, maybe one's coming, but uh, if there is one, we will let you know. But we're going to have tons more on Battlefront as it releases this November. And of course, more on The Force Awakens as that movie comes out in December. We cannot wait. So for more on Star Wars, just keep it right here at IGN.